Hi everyone, I'm Zhao Xu. Today I'm going to present our work, Taxonomy Structure Domain Adaptation. This is a joint work with Tian Yi Liu, Hao He, Guang Yuan Hao, and Hao Wang. For traditional domain adaptation methods such as DANN, they typically enforce a uniform alignment which removes all the domain specific information in the encodings. However, recent studies suggest that such alignment can harm domain adaptation performance. To address this problem, we introduce domain taxonomy into the domain adaptation process. With domain taxonomy, we can break the uniform alignment. Let's see an example. Suppose our task is to do video segmentation for the animal. We treat breeds as domains, and we have the hierarchies of species as a taxonomy. For our model, the middle representation for Basset and Beagle should be more similar than that for Basset and Tabby. However, if we treat each domain equally and enforce the uniform alignment, our model cannot take the advantage of such domain similarity and thus suffers from the decline in performance. Therefore, we incorporate domain taxonomy into the domain adaptation process. The next question is, how to effectively use taxonomy in domain adaptation. The key point is to use a novel taxonomist. Traditional domain adaptation methods only have a discriminator to classify the domain index. In our method, alongside the discriminator, we introduce a taxonomist to reconstruct the domain taxonomy given the encodings of data. In order to recover the taxonomy, the encodings must retain a significant portion of domain-specific information, thereby breaking the uniform alignment. Our full model is shown here. Our model follows the adversarial learning framework with encoder E, predictor F, discriminator D, and taxonomist T playing a min-max game. Here, LE, LD, and LT refers to predictor loss discriminator loss, and taxonomist loss, respectively. The discriminator attempts to remove the domain-specific information by imposing a uniform alignment on the encodings E, while the taxonomist maintains the crucial domain information within these encodings to reconstruct the domain taxonomy. The equilibrium achieved between the discriminator and the taxonomist ensures that the encoding preserves the essential domain information. To facilitate such process, we convert the domain taxonomy into a domain distance matrix A and input it into the encoder. We highlight the difference between the traditional models and ours in red. Our theorem aligns with our intuition. We have proved that the introduction of the taxonomist T prevents the discriminator from enforcing uniform alignment. Furthermore, we also prove that our TSDA can recover the traditional DNN when used with a non-informative taxonomy. Here, non-informative means that all nodes in this taxonomy share the same parent. This implies that our model extends upon the traditional domain adaptation method. Another interesting theorem is that merely extending DNN with weighted pairwise discriminators fails to break the uniform alignment, therefore justifying our use of the taxonomist. The experiment results demonstrate the effectiveness of our method. For instance, on the dataset DT14, our model outperforms others with an accuracy gap of at least 40%. Here, colors indicate the accuracy of the model on each domain. We also verify our method on real datasets. On dataset ImageNet Attribute DT, our method managed to outperform all baselines in terms of average accuracy. For more experiment results and analysis, please refer to our paper and code. Thank you.